Hello friends, in our last video, why did God send a prophet? Was it necessary? We answered the question and we proved that there must be a prophet. Those who want to watch that video can watch it by clicking the card. In this video, we will answer the question, was Prophet Muhammad a prophet? If you are ready, let's start. Now, to better understand the events, we will go with you to the time and the place where Prophet Muhammad was sent as a prophet. In other words, we are going back to the Arabian Peninsula 1400 years ago. The communities at that time had very strict and ugly customs. For example, girls were shameful for them and were buried alive. Women were like a worthless item. The poor and innocent were always oppressed, and the rich would did whatever they wanted. There was no justice, no mercy. It was also a difficult period in terms of the faith. At that time, there were were more than 300 idols around the Kaaba in Mecca alone. All the people worshipped them and tried this on idols. In fact, they would make an idol out of the halwa. When they went on a journey, if they got hungry during the journey, they would eat the idol they worshipped. They were very attached to their tribe. They were so devoted that when one of their tribes was harmed, they would fight with the other tribe. In fact, if one of his tribes was at the time of the death, his last word would definitely be fulfilled. In other words, if he wanted someone's death in his last word, that person would definitely be killed. At a time like this, a person who cannot even read or write appears, and he says things that will damage and dignity and honor of others. He says that idols with the trading resources are lies. He invites everyone to Islam. He he invites justice, mercy, respect and tolerance. He invites to value women and children. He invites us to worship a creator who has eternal life, knowledge, will and power, not idols made of stone. Yes, an illiterate person who has no financial power, no power, no material wealth and is alone converts this community which is stubborn and strictly adherence to their customs to Islam in just 23 years. Now. You know that a small custom such as cigarette in a small community where a lot judges and presidents cannot remove or ban. Also with the current technology and dozens of experts in medicine, psychology and sociology despite their efforts for years, they couldn't handle a small custom such as cigarettes. However, we see that Prophet Muhammad despite he was alone, having no financial power, having no material existences and having received no knowledge in the face of sociology, psychology or medicine, a boss created customs in a very short time with a very little work in a great tribe. In their place, he brought justice, mercy, freedom and he brought belief in a single creator, not hundreds of stone idols. He brought the goodness of an enduring life, not non-existence after death. He single-handedly changed very strict customs in a large community in a very short time. Of course, no one but a prophet can do such a work. Besides, the whole universe and all humanity confirm the news he brings. He says, La ilaha illallah. It means there is no God but Allah. Every creature, animate or inanimate, from particles to stars confirms him. As we have proved in our previous video, there must be only one creator in this universe. There cannot be a second creator. Every particle, every person, every star testifies to his existence and oneness. And 124,000 prophets who came before him also confirm his cause. Because they were saying, La ilaha illallah. It means there is no God but Allah. And millions of scholars who came after him confirm him. Is it possible that he is not a prophet when there are so many witnesses to his prophethood? In addition, friends, there are signs to Prophet Muhammad in the Torah, Psalms, and the Bible. A Syrian scholar named Husseini Jisri found 124 signs of Prophet Muhammad even the falsified for. If so many signs were found after the falsifying, compare how many there were before the falsifying. Is it possible that a prophet who is also marked by the other holy books is not a prophet? Anyone who claims to be a prophet is either telling the truth or the lying. In this case, Prophet Muhammad is either the most truthful person in the world or the most liar and deceptive man in the world. The first option is correct with the distinction of friend and enemy. All his friends and enemies know that he is truthful and reliable and they accept him as such. He was even nicknamed Muhammad al-Amin, so he is a reliable person. From particles to star, is it possible when the past, future, friend and enemy are witnessing his righteousness and accepting that he is a good morals? Let him be deceptive by lying, let him be immoral, even devils don't believe it. The believers to this lie are also lower than the devil. So, He's telling the truth and he is a prophet. For example, friends, imagine a soldier. This soldier was sent by the Sultan. He is an officer. In order, the Sultan removed some of his laws only for him to prove to the public that he was in duty. In other words, the Sultan saying, Yes, he's my soldier. Was the biggest evidence to prove that 
he was a soldier. Just like that, the owner of this universe sometimes removes some of his laws as put in this universe in order to prove that the prophets he sent to us are true. These are called miracles. That's the things we cannot afford. For example, we cannot run water from our fingers. We cannot divide the sea in two. We cannot talk to animals and trees. However, Allah removes his own laws for them to show that they are prophets and that they were sent by him. We can see this in many prophets. For example, Moses split the sea in two. Jesus revived the dead. Abraham didn't burn in the fire. The greatest of these is the last prophet Muhammad. He has hundreds of miracles such as running the water from his fingers, talking to trees, mountains, animals, speaking stone in his palms, feeding the armies with a small meal, giving water to the armies with a small drink, and splitting the moon in two. All this is the proof that he is a prophet by Allah, the owner of the universe. Those who don't believe in a prophet in whom even animals, trees, and stone accept his prophethood and believe are lower than an animal, harder than a stone, and more soulless than a mountain. Besides, is it wise not to accept his prophethood and the religion he brought? He has brought the most just religion for us who want justice and mercy. He brought a religion that commands justice, mercy, and compassion. He brought a religion that valued and protected women, children, the poor, and the orphans. He brought a good news that death, which disturbs people's sleep and makes them bitter, is not actually absence, nothingness, decay, but is a ticket to an eternal realm and an eternal life for us people who want eternity. He introduced a creator with infinite power and a mercy for us human beings who are endlessly enabled and needed. He told us who we are, where we came from, and where we are going. He declared our duty in this world. He told us who created us out of nothing, who gave us such a mercy and traits that he introduced our Lord. Of course, such a person can be no other than a prophet. Yes, friends, Prophet Muhammad, Hasha Summa Hasha, cannot be a liar, deceptive person. Someone whom the past and the future testified that the entire universe from particles to stars is true is of course a prophet. Someone who's lost the owner of the universe removed and showed us miracles in order to prove that his true is of course true and a prophet. And someone who gives us the goodness of the justice, mercy, and eternal life we want is of course right and a prophet.